What's up? Chill to explode. In this video, which you guys know, I'm checking out a Miss Mojo video. This is my first time checking out their video. I did check out Watch Mojo video and Mojo Plays video, and I'll for sure check out more of their videos on their channel. But I'm gonna definitely check out Miss Mojo video because I believe they're like what in the same freaking fam. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out these videos. It's gonna be two videos, which is about Halloween since hello. Halloween is freaking next week, so I'm like, you know what? Why not? We're gonna go ahead and check it out. For those who want to check it out, check it out. We're freaking kick it. Let's get it. I'm freaking ready, yo. Oh, yes. I read about it. Come book. on. So you see, maybe it is real. A book? What book? Oh. Hey, Halloween Town. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, yeah, we're counting down our picks for the yo. top 10 Disney Halloween movies. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at the funnest and spookiest flicks Disney has to offer in the spirit of All Hallows Eve. We will be including Disney Channel original movies, but no TV series. What's your favorite Disney Halloween movie? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Haunted Mansion Come on. Yo, that was my mess. Based on Disney's The Haunted Mansion theme park attraction, this ghostly comedy follows Jim and Sarah Evers, both real estate agents, and their two children on their way to a family vacation. But Jim, a total workaholic, decides to take a detour to meet Edward Gracie at his property. You have very beautiful yes. children, Ms. Evers. I kicked in some chromosomes too. <laughs> Gracie Manor has all the spooky Halloween Stupid. aesthetics from crypts to cobwebs. Fans of the attraction will appreciate all the familiar faces they run into, like Madame Leota and the grim grinning ghosts. I'm, I'm trying to find a key. I'm trying to find a key. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the beautiful <laughs> key? Find the key, find the key. Oh, happy you'll be. oh my you can gosh. You also find some recognizable characters in 2021's Muppets Haunted Mansion on Disney+. Plus. You see, here lies good old Fred, a great oh my gosh. fell on his head. And a piece Yo, stop of singing. Lies broad, Jeez. Planted here beneath the sod. Oh. The 2003 flick may not revolve around the holiday, but what better way to celebrate than with a haunting atmosphere? Number 9. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad Halloween is a I heard of that? Stories. Never seen. Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is undoubtedly one of the best. So it's no wonder this movie, which draws on it, is such a treat. Ooh, spooky. Its latter half tells the story of Ichabod <laughs> Crane, who comes to the quaint village of Sleepy Hollow for work. At a Halloween party, he hears about the legendary headless horse. Jeez, his freaking nose. Look like he could be the freaking villain. Night, looking for a new noggin. Oh, I'm telling you, brother, it's a frightful sight to see what goes on Halloween night. As if that wasn't enough to get Jeez, all in his freaking face, yo. Has his own frightening encounter with the villainous specter later on. <laughs> Packed with chilling content, this Disney Halloween classic is a must-watch every spooky season. Number 8. Twitches Shut the hell up, yo. That was my movie too, movie yo. Mm -mm. ...of this beloved decom. Go Twitches! Go Twitches! Twitches! I've been thinking about that all day! That was my mess. Exactly. Stop, yo. Tim Tamara Mori star as Alex Fielding and Cameron Barnes, twin sisters who were separated at birth and unaware of the other's existence. On the day of their 21st birthday, they meet and discover they have extraordinary abilities. What's going on? This that was almost like what Sister Sisters like spinoff. So similar. You look like me. I don't know, but isn't it cool? No. Celebrating being born on Halloween is always fun. But finding out you're a witch sure takes the pumpkin-flavored cake. The sisters reunited two years later for Twitches 2, which saw them dig deeper into the history of their whimsical homeland of Coventry. You know when you go to a horror movie, and there's always that stupid girl who goes inside the creepy house even though there are a gazillion signs saying keep out and the whole audience is screaming don't go in there? Yeah? You're that girl. If you're looking for a <laughs> you're that girl. <laughs> feature this Halloween, we suggest these like, two spellbinding flicks about a magical sisterly bond. Number 7. Under Wraps yes. Did you know the Disney Channel's first original movie was Halloween themed? Yeah, and it's a good one. Jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
This one's good. Like, what the heck? The <laughs> loving Marshall has a room with wall-to-wall -wall monster memorabilia. So for him, every day's Halloween. We're here for it. He and his two friends, Amy and Gilbert, break into the house of a seemingly deceased creepy neighbor and accidentally yes, revive that the ugly mother. thing. <laughs> Marshall, of course, decides to keep him, affectionately dubbing him Harold. But soon they find out that Harold will disappear if they don't return him to his receptacle by the time the clock strikes 12 on Halloween. The high what is this? Cinderella, please dedicating every waking minute to the service of his queen. What's celibacy? No chicks. Oh. I can never do that. You'll get used to it. Under Wraps was the first of many awesome DCOMs, and it certainly left a delightfully frightening impression. For sure. Number six, don't look under the bed. Don't look under we the bed, yes. Fear of the boogeyman, but this DCOM still creeps us out, which is exactly why it's a great choice. Houdini is not even a real name. Damn. I'm he is real. flexible. I'm an imaginary friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no Francis one's watching you, man. An imaginary friend when strange things start happening around Middleburg, with her being the prime suspect. Larry Houdini shows up and complicates her life at every turn. <laughs> And Disney should not used to play all these Apparently good freaking movies. Apparently have to defeat the boogeyman and save Francis's little brother Darwin. Larry has his own boogie problems, leading to some genuinely scary moments. <laughs> this one might be for a slightly more mature crowd as it deals with heavy topics. Oh, for sure, so, yes. If you're looking for a fun and frightful time on All Hallows' Eve, the dark Disney feature is sure to give you nightmares. Number five, The Black Cauldron. Not say that. The Black that. Cauldron is an oft-forgotten cult classic, but it deserves to get some recognition, especially when October rolls around. The Black Cauldron? An awesome weapon, Tyron. It's been hidden for centuries, but if the Horned King should find it and unleash its power, nothing could stand against him. Taran, an assistant pig keeper, embarks on a tumultuous journey with a magically powered pig, Henwen. He's been tasked with keeping the animal out of the bony hands of the evil Horned King, who seeks the legendary Black Cauldron for nefarious reasons. You are the keeper of this oracular pig. Uh, yes, sir. Then instruct her to show me the whereabouts of the Black Cauldron. Things escalate pretty fast from there. The tale conjures up some dark and gloomy imagery and features a truly terrifying villain. Plus, it's the perfect introductory flick for kids, ushering them into the world of dark fantasy and horror. In other words, it's beyond worthy of a spot in your Halloween movie rotation. <laughs> cool. You're charming. And pungent, too. Number four, Coco. Coco! Here's something a little different from the usual Halloween fare. No music. Coco follows young aspiring musician yes. Miguel, whose family has a strict music ban. On Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, the protagonist finds himself in the land of the dead meeting his deceased relatives. <gasps> Miguel? Mama Imelda. <laughs> what is going on? While working to get home with the help of a man named Hector, Miguel learns about his family history and realizes there's Such a more cute to the story than almost anyone knows. Wait, what happened? He's been forgotten. When there's no one left in the living world who remembers you, you disappear from this world. We call it the final death. Coco beautifully celebrates Mexican culture and captures the true essence of the season. It's bright and colorful, with lots to feast your so eyes colorful. and ears on. You won't be screaming in horror, but there are plenty of moments that'll have you laughing and crying. Until you're in my arms again. Aw, so freaking cute. I can't. Remember me. Number three. Yes. Hocus Pocus. 
Hocus Pocus has become a Halloween staple, and if you ask us, it's worth rewatching multiple times throughout the fall. Granted that uh, you guys here in Salem are all into these uh, black cats and witches and stuff. Stuff? Stuff? Fine. But everyone here knows that Halloween was invented by the candy companies. California native Max Dennison hates his new home of Salem, Massachusetts, mostly because he's not into all the Halloween stuff that the town loves. The autumnal foliage and then, makes this a dream location for the home. You know. When he's forced to take his little sis Danny trick-or-treating, he runs into his new crush, Allison. By the way, Danny, I love your costume. Thank you. I really like yours, too. Of course, I couldn't wear anything like that because I don't have any... What do you call them, Max? Yabos? <laughs> the two of them have a wild night filled with a talking black cat, a helpful zombie, and most importantly, truly iconic resurrected witches, the Sanderson sisters. Come on. Go to hell. Thank you. I found it quite lovely. <laughs> formidable, sinister, <laughs> hilarious, so and stupid, musically yo. gifted. Hey, the cat from freaking Sabrina. For the 2022 nostalgia filled, spooktacular sequel. Oh, that's right. Sequel. Never seen that. Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. We already drank the it just won't be the same. I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> Number two Halloween Town. Marnie Piper loves all things weird and creepy, much to her strictly normal, magic-hating mother's dismay. My so friggin' no childhood, yo. is her favorite time of year, or that we're obsessed with her. That was one of the best freaking Disney Channel movies. Right there in the bowl. And that's why I knew she is a witch, and so is mom, and so I always wonder why this actress never returned in that freaking Return to Halloween. I'm like, yo, what the heck? They brought in that other chick. Hello? What the heck? Happened. Grandma Aggie to the titular town. It's the best thing she could do. I came to start my training, Grandma. Your train? Oh, it was you. Out when I watched this movie, I was like, man, I wish I was a freaking witch. Like, yo. Well, come on. I suppose I could assume your mother doesn't know you're here. Halloween Town was such a perfect seasonal flick that it spawned a slew of sequels titled Calabar's Revenge. Halloween Town High and Return Oh boo, that was my least Town. favorite because that chick was, like whoa, like who the freak are you chick? You're not my freaking girl. That aquamarine chick. Like come on, yo. What the freak happened to that other actress? Shall we? The series remains a fan favorite, which tells you everything you need to know. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Frank and Weenie. Bring out the tissues for this Tim Burton flick about a kid and his reanimated dog. You're alive. You're alive. That scene was so pretty cute. He's like so disbelief, like, oh my gosh, my dog's alive. The of ghosts help a brother and sister save their grandfather's spirit, and it's unforgettable. Ed, hold the phones. We're gonna save some souls. What phones? Mom's got a date with a vampire. <laughs> yes, that was my freaking best. Try to rescue best. their mother from a charming bloodsucker in this chilling classic. Come on. Oh, that was You're such a good here. movie. Oh, thank goodness. They don't make movies like these no more. Toy Story of Terror. <laughs> I guess I'm not a vampire. Like you, freaking liar. Talking toys. I have not seen that. A rational explanation. We need to break into groups of two. Everyone, keep an eye on your partner. If anything goes wrong, give a yell. Yeah, I have not seen that. In Bed knobs and broomsticks. A witch in training memorably tries to aid England in World War II. Traguna, Macoides, okay. Oh, she is in her freaking witch mood. Number one, the night <laughs> before Christmas. Of course, yo. Of course. Not a freaking surprise. Man, that freaking song. So freaking classic. I Is mean, it come really on. Halloween without Tim Burton? The prolific filmmaker has a whole filmography well suited for this time of year, but nothing beats The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, jeez. Yes, I get it, yo. Would tire of his crown. His head is oh, so freaking small <laughs> with a skinny little body. If you see something strange, this movie is the ultimate Halloween treat. Jack Skellington, yes. the celebrated pumpkin king of Halloween Town, 
longs for something more than just red, black, and slimy green. What's this? What's this? This color. Ah! Uh, what's this? Yo, that's freaking song. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Stop. I'm getting nostalgia, yo. Jeez. He becomes convinced that he needs to co op the December celebration. But life's no fun without a good scare, and his plan leads to some truly creepy shenanigans. Yeah. I always thought that guy was a freaking weirdo. If you're a Halloween lover who's also a fan of Christmas, this is the perfect pick to transition from one magical holiday to the next. Yes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other clip nah, no. from his mojo. <laughs> and be sure to Hey nerds! Oh, you all turned around? Wow. You Welcome said, hey, nerds, idiot. Oh, freaking Monster House, yo. Shut up. To get you into the Halloween spirit, beware of some minor spoilers ahead. This, this again. Number 10, The Halloween Tree. Oh, I heard of this. I've obviously never seen, but I heard it's freaking good. The tree reassures its viewers that they're in for a traditionally terrifying Halloween treat. But there's a bit more to this cartoon classic than meets the eye. Every mouth smiled hideously in some new way. A thousand grimaces and twice times a thousand glares of fresh cut eyes. Each blink held the remnant holiday spirit of years gone by. Written and narrated by Ray Bradbury, The Halloween Tree is decidedly darker than the average kids' film, dealing frankly with the reality of mortality. I bet. I mean, look how he looks. With four kids getting ready for Halloween, only to find that their friend is being loaded into an ambulance. Appendicitis? You can die from that, right? P.S. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Ready, set, go. Following him to the hospital, they come across a spirit who leads them on a journey through Halloween history. It's equal parts educational and entertaining, with a writing style that never feels like it's talking down to its target audience. Yes, I like it. No, uh, his freaking fingers are same like his freaking nose. If you'd prefer to watch something a bit scarier during spooky season, Mad God. look no further than Mad God. The 2021 film is one of many examples that prove not all cartoons are for children. Ew. With some shockingly stomach-churning stop-motion animation, Mad God presents a post-apocalyptic Why does it almost look real, though? Cruelty. You may not immediately understand every aspect of its complex steampunk world, but that's okay. Soprattutto, la primavera e l'estate. What the hell? Even if you're not big on being scared, Mad God may be worth the watch for its artistry alone. After all, the film was the 30-year passion project of Phil Tippett, a creature designer and animator whose credits include blockbusters like Jurassic Park, Robocop, and the original Star Wars trilogy. Oh, wow. What the? Ew. Jeez. Number eight. Monster House. My freaking childhood, yo. Come on. Scary for what's inside them, but the house in Monster House is. I was obsessed with that freaking movie. It was so bad. The Halloween so freaking underrated. Steve Buscemi in a seemingly antagonistic role as the neighbor known for stealing anything that lands in his yard. I thought he was cray cray. Well-meaning kids. As the film's mystery unfolds, however, it becomes clear that the neighbor's unkindness is only an act meant to protect the town from the real threat. His That's right. place of residence. Freaking chowder, yo. Although Monster House's uncanny CGI animation may initially lead you to believe otherwise, the film is a genuinely tense and well-paced animated horror with interesting characters, tongue in yes. humor, and a surprisingly tragic twist. We have a Gives me, like, Goonie movie. vibes. Number or seven, It vibes as well. Cromit, the Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Not since not okay, I've not seen that, yo. What the hell was that? He can leap about. Look at the bones. 
A unique twist on the werewolf film, Curse of the Were Rabbit is the second stop motion. Okay, that looks familiar. Maybe I have. Ardman Animations. The movie starts out with a bang, with Wallace attempting to brainwash a group of rabbit thieves to protect the town's crops. This is chaotic good on the alignment chart, right? What's cured of their antisocial veg ravaging behavior? The rabbits can be safe. Oh, that animation looks so freaking familiar. Oh, like, yo, Things what? quickly go awry when the inventor's machine backfires and causes his brain to merge with that of a rabbit. This movie won't have you at the edge of your seat, but its charming animation style and good sense of I think I have seen that. Perfect low pressure watch for Halloween. If I haven't, I've seen something very similar with the animation. Number six. Corpse Bride. Yes. Or even Coraline. Corpse Bride put Laika on the map with a Come on. musical romance. Oh, jeez. Here we go. More musicals. Yay. <laughs> Directed by Tim Burton, the film translates many of the director's hallmark visual aesthetics into the world of stop-motion animation, with creature designs and lighting reminiscent of Beetlejuice. The story is similarly well-crafted, being a fresh take on an old trope, the love triangle. She can't hold a candle to the beauty of your smile. <laughs> How about a pulse? Overrated by a mile. Overfat. Overblown. If he only knew the you that we know. The movie's protagonist, Victor, accidentally delivers the wedding vows meant for his betrothed to an undead bride, catapulting him, and the viewer, into a twisted journey to the land of the dead. For the hopeless romantics of the world as in love with the macabre as they are love itself, there couldn't be a better choice to watch this fall. Oh, isn't the view beautiful? It takes my breath away. Mm. Well, it would if I had any. <laughs> Check. Number 5. Paranorman Horror movie monsters aren't typically afforded much nuance. In fact, most horror films will have their protagonists kill off the creatures without a second thought. Paranorman is different. Nice today. I like what you've done with your hair. Paranorman. Does anyone smell burning? <laughs> Peace, man. Totally. As you were, soldier. This is a good one. Sir, yes, sir. Focusing on a preteen uh, boy yes, who can communicate with the dead, this animated adventure film favors compassion over carnage. We love when a villain is actually just a victim. <laughs> Do you have anything to say for yourself? I was only playing. I with fire. Quirky characters, stunning settings, and a whole history lesson gives this movie a kind These of These animations are expect. trippy. Then again, given the track record of Laika's stop motion features, we're not sure why we underestimated it. We couldn't ask for a warmer redemption story. Sleep tight. Number four, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo movie. Oh, I remember this. It's the fisherman. Man. That's right. <laughs> Roll. Folks, you so stupid. Favorites, like Zombie Island and Witches. I remember Ghost, Zombie Island. Based adventures like Trick or Treat, Scooby Doo, and Scooby Doo and the Goblin King. Let's ah, face it. Yes. Pretty much any Scooby Doo movie is a good Scooby Doo movie. Come on. Plus. There's no better day to solve a mystery with the gang than on the spookiest day of the year. It's only the biggest event of the Grimwood school year. Like, will there be food? <laughs> will there be food? Shaggy, you freaking skinny -o. If it's been a while since you've seen a film from this franchise, you may also be pleased to learn that a few of the modern ones include some pretty cool cameos. Cassandra Peterson in particular has featured in a few as horror host Elvira. You can spot her in Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo alongside Bill Nye the Science Guy. I'm like a nav computer, a science resource, and a friend all right. Hecky to the freaking naw, yo. Being a hologram is highly entertaining. Number three, Coraline. Be oh, heck to the friggin' uh. Simply put, this is the lesson. That friggin' movie, yo. <laughs> There's nothing simple about its unique execution. I can't believe you did this. Mother said you'd like it. Oh, she <laughs> Mother said like you it. like it. Those fake freaking parents. From breathtakingly intricate stop motion sets to its creative character designs, you're sure to be instantly enraptured by the art direction. And of course, it helps that the story is captivating as well. You could stay here forever if you want to. 
Really? Sure, Best. we'll sing and play games, and Mother will cook your favorite meals. A horror-infused coming-of-age tale, Coraline introduces us to a young girl who feels bored and neglected in her new Michigan home. This all changes when she finds another world where everything is just a little bit better. Or at least, that's what meets the eye. For now. Danger! What do you see? I see a very peculiar hand. Number two, Batman, The Long Halloween. Oh, wow, I have not seen that. I haven't seen a trick-or-treater in years. 2021, no wonder. Hardly worth the security risk, wouldn't you say? If you've ever wished there was a way to satiate your need for a spooky Halloween flick while watching the superheroes you know and love, you're in luck. Batman The Long Halloween is the best of both worlds. Comprised of two feature-length films, this animated- It Disney looks interesting. Like, I would check it out. Hitters, ...including The Joker, Two-Face, and Catwoman, all looking to make their mark on the city during this season. Nancy, hold all my calls. I have to terminate someone. Yeah, freaking Joker. It also sees Batman going back to his detective roots as he works to find the culprit of a series of holiday-based murders. Notably, it's Supernatural's Jensen Ackles who provides the voice for the Cape Crusader in these specials, alongside a brilliant posthumous performance by Naya Rivera as Selena Kyle. Why are you running? Fun. You could use a little fun. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The Adventures of Ichabod. Oh, it's that Dome. again. Few Disney characters are as haunting as the Headless Horseman. Oh my gosh, shut up. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Even the great oh, I remember can't that save Charlie Brown in my freaking elementary tree. years. I got five pieces of yes. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. Toy Story of Terror. <laughs> that always made me just up. laugh. Like, I got a rock. Like, yo, so stupid. What are we gonna do now? He was the only one who knew what the heck was going on. Hotel Transylvania. Take a break from humanity at Hotel Transylvania. We always look forward to coming every year, Callum. We enjoy the safety so much. Of course, that's why we built it. The Adams Family, a new twist on the classically creepy family. I haven't seen that, but I've seen the movie live action of him. So, yes. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Number one. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yo, is that all you're gonna do? Just put them in number one, peeps? <laughs> Jeez. We wouldn't have it any other way. It's a classic, sure, but I'm like, okay. How perfectly marvelous. The handcrafted medium is perfect for unnatural movements and unique textures, and this has never been utilized more brilliantly than in The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is a movie that truly looks as good as it sounds, with an impressively wide array of creepy characters and an unforgettable soundtrack. In this town, don't we love it now? Classic. Everyone's waiting for the next surprise. This is Halloween is practically the theme song for the holiday at this point. You can't argue with us about whether this is actually a Christmas movie or not, but honestly, we think it's good enough to warrant a it's watch both. on both holidays. Exactly. Merry Christmas! Will you be watching any of these animated classics this Halloween season? Let us know in the comments and check out these other great videos. Hey, have you come to sing pumpkin carols? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Okay. Hey peeps, so that was my freaking reaction to Miss Mojo. It's very similar to Watch Mojo and even Mojo Plays. So I'm like, okay, yeah, they're in the same freaking fam. I haven't seen every single one of the ones they've mentioned, but the others that they have mentioned in their freaking videos, I'm like, yes, they were my freaking childhood. They for sure gave me freaking nostalgia. Like, heck to the freaking yes. But other than that, guys, that was it for this vid. Chill to explode. This chick is out. If you guys have any vids for me, you guys know where to go. You guys stay lit. Peace.